Right, well I've got mixed feelings about this video. Um, it's the Gamo Maxim Elite Swarm Whisper, which as we know doesn't whisper. And I'm selling it. In fact it's already sold. I haven't had the money yet, but yeah it's sold. Just a little job I've got to do to it before it goes. And that is, swap out the trigger blade for the Charlie Dachuna GR. T4G or whatever the hell that means. This this little bad boy. You might remember it's one that I tried to fit in the uh, BSA and it didn't fit. So yeah, gonna stick it in this one. Uh, yeah, well, it's the gun it's made for. So hopefully it should work. Yeah. Um, basically, I'm having to sell an awful lot of my stuff, and the reason for that is I'm absolutely skint. I am. I'm skint basically. I've started a new job. Um, hopefully it's going to pay more, but the cost of living in the UK is just ridiculous and it's going to get to the point before too long where even the pay rise from my new job isn't going to be enough. So, thanks UK government, you're crap. Totally crap, you're useless. I don't think there's anybody in the world that would argue with that. You are absolutely useless and you have destroyed this country. So thanks for that. Thanks for making me have to sell everything I hold dear, just to keep a roof over our heads, it's pathetic. Uh, you may see a few things actually on Gunstar that you might recognise. Um, if you do, please buy them, because you'll really, really help me out, and with any luck I'll then have a bit of money to spend on something to make videos with. Because at the moment, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably going to wrap up the channel, because YouTube, you're not treating me very well, and I'm not happy. Really not happy. Being threatened over my last video with being given a strike, demonetization and deletion because apparently I was uh, assembling, abusing or offering for sale a firearm. Um, it's pathetic and really not acceptable. I'm not happy about that. So I'm going to do what you presumably don't, well sorry, I'm going to do what I presume you want me to do. I'm not going to monetize this video. I'm just going to whack it out there. The one after that I will monetize and with any luck it'll be more to your liking. I might feature some unicorns and some pretty things, flowers, sheep. Something you'll like. Anyway, enough waffle. Whizzer out the stock. I'm going to sort out these rusty bits, but I will do that off screen because no one really wants to see that. And you'll join me when it's apart, scopes off, and I'm ready to take the trigger out. And don't do what I did and forget the fact that you need Allen keys and Torx keys for this job because. <laughs> That resulting in a bit of a break going into the house to uh, go and fetch it from the garage and of course then I get caught by the missus and she talks at me and then the job has another half an hour added on to it. Oh shit, that's tight. Okay, uh, join me in a moment once I've heated this up and hit it with angel piss and basically bash the shit out of it to get it to actually undo. Just joking. Okay, well here she is. Right, you may notice that says BSA Lightning on it. Um, yeah, well, never mind. That's where the spare pin was, just in case I need it. Bolts, everything you've... Oh, no, you need that. Everything, basically, that you don't want to go on the floor. Stick it in your container. Cover. There you go. I mean, I, I was looking at it thinking, oh my god, it's like an old bloody Mercury where you need to make an adapter to take the spring out. But no, it's fine. Just pulls off. Wonderful. Pop the magazine out. I should have shown earlier as well. Always check your guns empty before you start work, but I know, I mean, it's like lecturing, it's like teaching granny to suck eggs, isn't it? Of course you're going to check it's empty before you start work because you're not a muppet. As evidenced by the fact that you're watching my channel. Only the smartest guys on YouTube watch my channel. And people who like taking the piss and calling me a retard. And um, thanks, guys. That's really nice of you. Anyway, right, stop blithering on, let's get this trigger out and let's get this pin out and yeah, you'll join me in a bit. Right, to remove the bear trap, use a little screwdriver, like the spring here, there we go, take the spring off. Put it somewhere safe. Take the bear trap off. There we go. Done. That's, if you don't do it that way, 
can be a bit of a nuisance. Make sure take this piece off. Oh, that's too big. I've said that before. You may notice the trigger is already fitted. I've uh, had to redo this. Very annoying. Anyway, appear a little bit out of sequence, but hey, I'm sure you'll forgive me. Take that screw out because it locates into the top of the trigger. And, yep, here we go, ready to take it apart. Shims? No, nothing. Not even a spring washer. Okay, fine. It's quite loose as well, actually. There we go. I'm actually. Hmm. This could be interesting. Right. And just now I've forgotten how to put that back in. Because there we go. Barrel off. Bye bye. Okay. Now we have da bomb. I have no idea. How much tension this is under and I don't particularly want to break my wrist so I'm going to use a clamp I'm sure there are those going oh just put it on the table and push well let's have a go let's see shall we Can I feel any give around that pin no I can't no I'm not happy I've used a washer as a spacer between it and the clamp now to tap out that pin Find out how much spring tension this has got. Wear goggles when you do this and keep well away, okay? <laughs> that it? Well, that was anticlimactic. Wow, that was. Um, Amazing. By amazing, I mean not. All right, well, that's interesting. Oh, I think it's this. Yeah, I think this needs to come off. And this could then result in another spring ding. So, just literally going to put a tiny bit of pressure back onto it. Because that goes down into a stop, so just in, just in case, just in case, I don't think. You don't want to start tapping if it's hitting something. See, it's got that little stud. Let's just try. No, okay. There we go. Yeah, I think it did catch on that. Just a teeny bit. Okay. Ooh, a bit of rust. Just going to tap it out. See, I'm using the hide side of this copper hide hammer. Oh, it's a long one. Do you like a long one? And off. And that's it. And uh, there's a washer in there. Presumably that's a power adder. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, this thing was down on power. It'd almost be worth sticking another washer in there, but I don't have time to be... Yeah, look, that's what it was hitting on. I thought... Yeah. Yeah. Duh. I should have thought of that. Right then. Anyway. Get that a wipe off using a handy snot rag. Oops, that amazing power adder. Okay. In case anybody wants to know the part number. Hopefully that'll focus, maybe. Yeah, there you go. There's the details that are written on it. So with any luck, if you need a new one, you can choose the right one. And, as if by magic. Thank you. Mrs V has brought me a cup of tea. Right, let's take this bad boy apart. A little while since I've done this. Check if there's another. I don't think there is. Definitely don't lose them. There we go. Lovely and greasy. Okay. Take the trigger blade out. Whole thing. There we go. Ooh. Right. Where did ah there it is. Perfect. Wunderbar. Now, controversial, you see how these have this moulded in plastic pin? Well, that's not moulded in plastic pin, it is the pin. There we go. What you have to do. Oh, thank God for that. I thought I'd lost it. Let's face it, I lost it a while ago. This is your bear trap interrupt, and there's no pin to actually pivot it on. See? This is something I don't understand about these triggers. Because there's a component missing. Simple as that. It's not this part in the safety catch, which should have gone in first. There we go. So, you actually have to steal one from another trigger group, which you may remember we happen to have a BSA one. By the way, BSA trigger, gamma trigger, apart from the safety catch, um, yeah, same. Although, because of the safety catch, the Charlie Dutchina trigger doesn't work, which is a pain. Anyway. Seems a shame to destroy an entire trigger group purely for one pin. But it's what the customer wants. Where's the pin? Oh, I remember. Yeah, you have to take. There we go. It's a steal. Come on. There we go. Steal that one. 
May I notice didn't put any lube on it. Um, didn't need it. Hmm. It seems very stiff, doesn't it? Oh well, I'm sure we'll find out the solution. Fit that little retainer on this side. There we go. Hold it in place. I mean, to be honest with you, the casing will hold it in place. He says, hoping he just picked up the correct one. I now can't remember. Bugger. Do you know what? They're the same. Oh, dang it. Aha! Muppet. There we go. In fact, yeah, this is the one off the BSA because the screws are still in it, whereas I took the one off the gamma out. Hey, doesn't matter. Safety catch was on, Lauren. Ooh. Oh, that. Do you know what that? That only feels nice. Yeah, that. That does feel good, actually. Yeah, I like that. Right then. Right, praise from Caesar. Back together. Oh. oh no, that's fine. Whoa. Right then. Okay, be careful when putting it back together because that washer falls out. There we go. Not quite, no, not quite there. Oh, a tiny bit more preload that time, now that's better. Can't help but feel. Okay, so we need a spacer. There's my, I'm gonna use that washer. What I do like about this design compared to some is the Oh you bastard. It's it's guided in in the grooves. Unlike some where they are bastard. Oh. 
and you have to make sure it's orientated the right way. Like everything in life. Oh, come on. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Insert meme. Because there is actually a little gap. Bastard. Okay. Need to just slacken that off a tiny bit. But with these clamps means all the way. Use a screw clamp because you get so much better control over it. If we can. There we go. That looks perfect. Ooh. There we go. And there we have the stop point. The screw. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Wunderbar. Back together. There we go. Take that spring off. Take the bear trap off. Clip. Clip. Bear, stri bear trap back in. Spring back in place. Making sure it catches that bit. There we go. So just make sure it clears the pen on the trigger blade, which it does. Okay. Now these springs here need to get a grip and stop trying to have sex with each other. There we go. Pump it down. In. Oh, what's that? Let's see, can you see what I see? Plastic over molding. Nasty. That's the future. There we go. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's not actually going in. Why not? Because it's not aligned. Even though it is. There we go. That's quite good. Actually, it feels like there's a little recess there to aid assembly. Let's have a look. Yeah, she's going in there. There we go. Okay. 
It's pretty loose this was. Ooh, just gonna give it a tap. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Feels pretty good. Don't forget that little roller on there. Why they can't have them captive, I really don't understand. But anyway, never mind. Okay. Anything else? Yep. Roller. Trim. Oh, it's bizarre, that trim. Slurp of tea. One little check. Safe to catch. Yep. I'm going to reserve judgment. It feels pretty nice. It's got a nice movement to it. But I shall have to reserve judgment until actually firing. Actually, I wonder. That's the Gamo trigger blade. There we go. I'm just wondering whether that's going to be an upgrade for the Lightning. Do you know what? We're going to try that. No idea. It's possible. Who knows? Something to try. Right. Put it back in our stock. Tiny little hex key. So cute. You are strange. I know. In the hole. The little hole. putting them away, I need them. In honour of the gold trigger blade, some gold treatment. I've actually, all I did was I cleaned them up using a brass bristle, blah, 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 brass and bristle brush and it left behind that gold finish and I thought, oh, that'll go quite nice with the trigger blade, so I left it. Now you may notice, um, that great big reinforcing screw in the stock. Comforting. Uh, you may notice I'm not coming out with many jokes or, um, you know, displaying my usual sense of humour. That's mainly because I'm properly pissed off at the moment, and because I don't think YouTube likes my humour. I don't think YouTube liked my humour. I think they found my jokes about things that I'm not going to say now offensive. So that could be another reason why they threatened me. It really not happy about it. I put a lot of effort into my videos. You consider some of the stuff you can find on YouTube, to be honest. Some stuff which is inciting racial hatred. Stuff which is uh, like sexist, which is downright disgusting. That's all fine. But some bloke messing about in his workshop, fixing an air rifle. That's, um, by the way, that's just the spring washer on the serrated washer. That's not the wood snapping. Did make an interesting noise though, I must confess I pooed my pants briefly. Well yeah, going back, um, somehow that's offensive, but you can post all sorts of other stuff and that's absolutely cool. I, I'm at a loss, really am, absolute loss. Anyway, you'll join me once this is all back together because I'm sure you can figure it out. These are terrible. Triggers in. And I've got to admit, that does look pretty damn good. Just got to tune it now. It's way, way too light. You can't really feel the second stage of it. I'm going to adjust this screw here now. You need a tiny screwdriver to do that, so off into the house to get the electrician's screwdrivers. I know where they've got insulation on them. To get a small screwdriver. Right, one modified screwdriver later. Please be small enough. 
to actually fit. Okay. Try that. These pallets are actually too big for the magazine. I'm having to probe them home. Although, to be honest, I'd actually recommend you always probe your pallets home with a gamo mag. Go gentle. Don't push them all the way through. Okay, see what that's like. Okay, well that's actually too heavy now. <laughs> oh dear, amazing isn't it? Try that. Oh, do you know what? We're only getting somewhere. Just gonna try. Tiny bit more. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere now. Try a tiny bit more. There we go. Try that. Right, that's too light. I'm going to back it off half a turn. There we go. And I'm going to try that. Quite like firing three shots because sometimes first shot can be a bit off, not quite right. Seems to have lost the first stage. That's annoying. I'm going to try this. Try winding that screw back in and take it back out half a turn. That's better. Yeah, that's pretty good now. Sorted. Ready for sale. And to YouTube. That's not sale to anybody watching this video. It's already sold. Okay, I'm not selling firearms. I'm not abusing firearms. And to the best of my knowledge, the video where I fitted a butt pad and a scope mount 
to a BSA Lightning Air Rifle was not assembling a firearm because those are not functional components. I suggest whoever it is that checks your videos gets a bit of training, eh? From someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Because, um, it's a joke. Absolute joke. And for you, after I complained to you several times in a row, for you to then send me an email threatening me, in effect saying, drop it or else. No. No. Sorry. No. Remember, YouTube, you're nothing without your creators. If we all go, you've got nothing. Just think about that. We're not all into SS Sniper Wolf and all that sort of stuff. Some of us got edgier hobbies, things that we actually like, things we enjoy doing. And we want to watch YouTube videos about it. Are you going to alienate us for it? That would appear so. That would appear to be what you want to do. Not on.